Hey you guys, this is Dahlia and for those of you who don't know me, I help professionals with international careers. And so I am hopping on here because a lot of you I'm speaking to are still really, really struggling to get the jobs that you want. And the struggle is very real, it's very difficult, you're sending out hundreds of applications and you're doing your networking and you know you're trying all avenues available to you that you know of and it's been months for some of you some of you it's even been years and you still haven't achieved the role that you want so we're going to discuss why no one is hiring you for the positions that you're after and so this is this follows you know some of our previous videos where we already talked about how to figure out what it is that you actually want to do so there's another camp of people who need help figuring out what their ideal role is so where they can do something where they're contributing delivering value where their skills are really being utilized to the fullest so we've already talked about how to figure that out in our last few videos if you haven't seen those and you're still trying to figure out what you want to do then check those out you can find them in the international career seekers facebook group and you can also find them on my youtube channel but today we're gonna talk about how to actually get that job once you figure out what it is that you want to do. Because a lot of you are telling me that all you need to do is get your foot in the door, but you can't even get any of those doors to open a little crack so that you can slip your foot in. Everything is, it's like everything is shut off, the opportunities are closed, and once in a while you might get something encouraging, such as a callback for an interviewer, uh, for an interview, or you go to a meeting with a recruiter or something like that. You have some kind of a meeting and maybe you're feeling energized after that. So people are, are positive and they're encouraging you, but none of it has translated it into a concrete result. And you're just feeling like things are going too slow and like you're in a kind of mud where you're just slowly trudging along, but you're, you're not getting the results that you're really after. And so, what happens at this stage, so when you realize things are moving too slowly, when you realize that you're trying everything, you're struggling a lot, and you still haven't achieved that role that you want, what usually happens is you start thinking that, okay, it must be my lack of experience. I don't have enough experience. I better try to find um, find that experience somewhere so that I will have more value and someone will want to hire me Or you start thinking okay my CV is not good enough I guess I need a better CV or a better cover letter or you know I get people asking me can you update my LinkedIn profile? What is it in my LinkedIn profile that I need to change so that I get hired or you say oh I guess I'm too young or I guess I'm too old or even, I guess I'm too uh, mid-level in my career. If I were younger, it would be easier. If I were older, it would be easier. I hear all of these um, reasons why people think they might not be getting the job. Or other reasons, my ethnicity. I'm the wrong skin color, I'm the wrong eth ethnicity, or the wrong nationality. People wanna hire locals, they're not able to hire someone who doesn't have a, a working visa kind of thing. These are all things that I hear every single day. And really, these are all excuses for excuses that are blocking you from not getting the job that you want. And I completely understand why those excuses come up. And it's because when you're doing everything in your power that you can do and you're putting in all that effort and you still haven't achieved the thing that you're after, then it's natural to try to figure out reasons why that is the case. And since you're doing everything that you can, you start drawing on these kinds of things. Well, there's too much competition. I guess it's too difficult for me because of my age or my experience, that kind of thing. However, it's really, really important to recognize that all of these external factors are just excuses because every single one of us has our own set of challenges. So maybe you think you're the wrong age, well, the next person thinks they're the wrong ethnicity, and the next person after that has less experience than you, but they still got the job. So we all have our own set of challenges. There's not any one of us that has some perfect, um, perfect mix of traits that make us the perfect candidate for our ideal job where, you know, we don't have a single thing holding us back. Everyone has their set of things that we think are our own challenges, but 
if you let those be your challenges, really they're just excuses and, uh, and really they're just gonna hold you back. So the real reason why those of you who are really struggling have not yet achieved the job that you want, why it seems like nobody wants to hire you despite everything you've done, is because you're not demonstrating your value. So people are hired every single day who probably do the job less well than you do, who probably have less passion than you do, and, uh, and they're hired not because they have a better skin color or better experience than you, but because in some way the hiring manager or the person in charge of that decision making saw them as a better fit. So saw more benefit related to hiring them compared to the benefit of hiring you. So what can you do about this? You need to demonstrate your value in a better way so that the benefits of hiring you far outweigh the benefits of hiring the competition, so hiring someone else, so that the benefits of hiring you far outweigh the, you know, the disadvantages and the paperwork of having to, um, to, do your paper, to, to do your paperwork to get you a visa if you need one to work in that country, so that the benefits outweigh the, um, the disadvantages of maybe you don't have enough experience, but you're really showing that the benefits of hiring you far outweigh whatever you think your lack of experience is. Or maybe you're a bit older, but you're able to describe the benefits of hiring you and even turn being older into an advantage. Same thing when you're young. Can you turn being young into an advantage rather than a disadvantage? So it all comes down to not having a strong enough awareness of what your own value is. And then the second thing is not delivering that value. So communicating that value strongly enough to the people who matter so that they really, really see the benefit of hiring you as opposed to someone else. And that is how you can get around all of those obstacles, all of those perceived challenges that you guys feel you have. You need to have a strong enough message and a, tr a strong enough way of communicating that message. But it all comes down to first knowing your value because you can't communicate anything until you really have this deep level of understanding about what you have that you bring to the table. So this is why when my clients start working with me and one of the first things we do is we get very, very crystal clear on that value they have to offer, which can be very difficult to understand yourself. So that's where it really helps when you have someone to talk to, someone who can look at you, look at what you bring to the table and tell you outright, look, here is what you have, here's what you can deliver. So that helps a lot because it is difficult, right? All of us have trouble selling ourselves and sort of coming up with what exactly we have to offer as well as positioning that in such a way that it is convincing to the people who are looking for us. So we also need to understand the person who is hiring us, what benefits they're looking for, right? If you say, um, well, my mom thinks I'm great and, you know, obviously that's not going to be such a big benefit for the hiring manager. So it's knowing your value as a person, but of course also professionally and how you're positioning yourself in the market. And then once you do this, this is where the tables turn and things really change. And that's why my clients, once we get very clear on their value, that's where they start feeling that rather than them going through this struggle, chasing opportunities and feeling like all the doors are constantly being closed on them, they start having those doors just fall over completely. And, and that's where the opportunities start rolling in. And they're in a different position where the opportunities are coming to them rather than them constantly chasing those opportunities only to be let down afterwards. So. I hope that that makes sense to you guys, that how important it is to get clear on your value and to understand how to communicate that value, how you're going to be delivering those benefits to the people who need them. And so if you guys need help with getting clear on that message, with how to deliver your value and getting yourself to be just this amazingly strong candidate and also human being, you know, knowing your value as a person can really change your whole life, even in terms of the types of goals that you set. It totally changes everything about the way that you run your life, the kinds of things that you aim for, and of course, the way that you're able to attract those opportunities. So if you need help with that, get help now 
don't wait until the struggle has been going on for months and years, like a lot of the people I'm, I'm talking to have. If it has been months or years, that's okay. Now would be a good time to get really clear on your value so that you can stop running after opportunities and, um, and wasting that time, you know. Life is short, right? Time is short, time is always running out every single day. So get clear on your value. If you already know what job you want, then why, why don't you just get it? Because once you're working in that, you're only gonna keep on growing from there and, and there's so much more that you could be doing besides job hunting or besides dreaming about the thing that you really wanna do and not living at your happiest and fullest potential. So that is my message for you today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and, uh, and feel free to reach out to me. I have some slots left next week for career roadmap sessions. That's where we get on a call together and we look at your goals. We look at what your struggles are, what you're dealing with. We really get clear on what your current challenges are in your career. And then we're gonna look at how you can actually overcome those challenges. And that session is free. However, it is only for people who are ready to step up, step up in their lives, step, step up in their careers, and really commit to creating big changes for themselves and also for others, because this is also all about delivering an impact and doing something that really matters, because that's gonna be more fulfilling to you and it's also going to change the lives of the people around you. So if you guys are ready for that and you're ready to stop struggling in this job hunt and just get things done, then definitely reach out. I'll be happy to get on one of those sessions with you. And uh, for now, have a wonderful weekend and please do let me know in the comments what you know how where are you in your job hunt right now so how much have you been struggling and uh, and what do you think is the main thing that is holding you back lovely to speak with you all as always and uh, and hope to see you again very soon bye